gang. I am standing here outside the Temple Mount and I'm standing on steps that would have uh, been here at the time of Jesus. These were some of the main steps. People would have been entering up this way up to the Temple Mount. So we know that Jesus would have stepped on these steps. They're irregular steps. And that means that they aren't all the same. Sometimes the rise is a little different. Sometimes the depth of the step is a little different. And the reason is that they wanted people to have to stop at different points and be aware of their surroundings, not just be able to, in a routine, go right up the steps. It's a good reminder for us as we are entering into worship, as we're entering into uh, places where we're going to focus on the Lord, it's good for us to prepare our hearts to stop and think. And they built that into their architectures. They wanted people to stop, look up, and to prepare themselves for what was gonna happen next. Also, we see here the Holda Gates. They're now uh, blocked, but there's three entrances. You can see the arches here, and these are the main entrances into the temple. And so again, Jesus would have been entering through. We don't know whether they would have gone in the right or out the left, or in the left and out the right. We're not quite sure. What we do know is that when someone was grieving, they would go the opposite direction. And this was a signal for everyone to know, this person has lost someone in the last 30 days or so and needs to be comforted. And the, again, they built that into the culture, into the way that they functioned, so that as a community they could we could recognize someone's grief and, and help and serve and pray for them and love them in that time of, of trial and of grief. So here we are on the ancient steps of the temple in Jerusalem.